hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video um if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel my name is azariah and i post videos once a week about different things diys many different things you'll just see okay and if you want to get to know me or know my channel or see any of my videos hit the subscribe button and the post notification button so you can be notified when i post a new video and i do do post notification shout outs at the end of each video once again i am going to do my first giveaway when i get to 100 subscribers so if you want to be a winner i will pick a boy and a girl the girl that wins gets a $25 Sephora gift card and the guy that wins I say $25 GameStop card but I don't know it might if you have any suggestions what the guy should win go ahead and leave a comment down below Starbucks gift card maybe I don't know but yeah don't forget to give this big video a big thumbs up and once again, click the subscribe button to join the family. So yeah, this video is going to be about my past situation revolving domestic violence. Um, so yeah, it's probably not going to be like a bubbly video or anything like that. Uh, but if you want to know more or get into this video, go ahead and keep watching. Also, I'm going to put a little disclaimer just in case it gets triggering for some people. Please watch this video with somebody or please speak out about your situation somehow some way it can help somebody else so yeah let's just get into the video see you in the next clip okay so like i said this video is going to be about domestic violence um relationship but of course this is going to be my situation my opinion on these things um, not my definition because I did look some of them up and um, if need be I will post the definitions in the corner whenever I get to them um, and put my glasses on because I can't see but anyway so just a little backstory um, I'm probably not going to say any names um, or anything like that because I'm not doing this to bash anybody or any one person or to give anybody clout or whatever because I don't really have that many followers but regardless domestic violence um, is not okay and it comes in many different forms of um, violence I guess you should say it can be physical mental emotional um, you know verbal it's many different types of domestic abuse so it's not always um, oh uh, you know he or she is hitting me or whatever most people seem to think and yes women can be the abusers and just as much as men can so I don't want anybody to take this video as I'm saying only men but of course in my situation it was a man or boy but anyways let me get into this video so um, like I said, a little backstory on my situation. I was not, I was not physically abused. I was never hit or anything like that. Um, there were times where an argument got so bad that maybe like a finger was waved in my face or maybe even like a, you know, like a, like not a hit, but like a, a big face, I guess you should say or whatever um but i was never physically hit or punched or slapped or anything like that so i might have been grabbed like or handled roughly i should say but i've never been hit um but as far as the other abuses and if you see me looking down because i'm actually looking at my phone just because i did take notes to make sure that i didn't forget anything because I do want to try and be very open about the situation just in case anybody has questions you can always leave a comment down below and I will answer any questions or if you want to DM me on any of my social medias and you can I'll have all of that linked down below as well so let me go ahead and define domestic violence and like I said I'll probably put the definitions right here domestic violence violent or aggression behavior within the home typically involving the violent abuse of a spouse or a partner so that's the definition of domestic violence so if it's your boyfriend your girlfriend it can even be family um you know 
that's the first thing you're taught as a kid. Keep your hands to yourself. All, you know, and as women, we do tend to make excuses as to why something happened. Or, you know, of course, the abuser always makes it, makes you feel or makes it seem like it's your fault. Oh, you said that. That's why I hit you. Or you wore that. That's why I got mad. That's why I called you this. That's why I told you that. And ladies or men, whoever is being abused, it's never your fault. And as women, we always tend to, well, he has a bad attitude or she has a bad attitude. We all have attitudes at times. I have a bad attitude. I've never hit anybody as far as just, oh, you made me mad. Let me slap the taste out your mouth. Like, stop making excuses for these men and for these women. We're grown. We have the ability to control our actions. If you're getting that mad because somebody said something, then, hey, walk out. Go smoke your cigarette, your vape. I don't recommend vaping, but go take a boxing class, go run a mile, go walk your dog. There's no reason for you to hit somebody, you know, or call somebody out of their name. That's just disrespectful. So where's, where's the excuse? I mean, to me, there's no excuse. Having a bad attitude for sure is not an excuse. I mean, there's times where I get pissed off. I can't walk around slapping people either. But, you know, just stop making an excuse for them. And you're also giving them a reason to feel like it's okay. Oh, I was mad, so I hit you. You understand that? Okay, so you know every time you make me mad, I'm going to hit you. So you're pretty much letting them know that you're expecting to be hit or cussed out or called a name or something because you know that you made them mad because you excused it for that reason. And that's not a legit reason. Another... Um, form of type of abuse is verbal abuse. Verbal abuse is the act of forcefully criticizing, insulting, or denouncing another person. Like calling you out of your name, calling you, you know, derogatory names, making you feel like, like a piece of shit, pretty much. And like I said, that's kind of mostly what I got. Um, I wasn't called names or anything like that. Um... It was more so like threats, like threats about certain things. And of course, at the time I was pregnant, I'm not your typical softy, I guess you should say. Like, I don't cry often about certain things. It, trust and believe if I'm crying, it's because I'm to the point where I don't know what I'm, like that's my boiling point. So if I am crying, I just, I think I'm about to like lose my shit, like if I'm crying. So I'm never, I'm, I mean, I cry when I'm sad too, but that's rare. If I'm crying, it's because I am to the point where I am like about to explode. And it's never been that for me. So when I was pregnant, I was very emotional, like about, you can call my hair ugly and I think I cried. like. That pregnancy took a toll on me. My pregnancy was so hard. It was so difficult, like, very hard. So, you know, when I was pregnant, I would, I was body shamed. I already felt like, you know, he was embarrassed to be seen with me or by me. Because whenever we would walk somewhere, he'd walk, like, far behind me. Or, you know, like, of course, I'm pregnant. My back hurts, like... I'm walking like I had so many complications um towards the end of my pregnancy and that's when I started showing is when I felt the most like resentment not resentment but it just felt like you didn't want to be seen with me you didn't want to hold my hand you didn't want to help me like do anything like you were far back behind me you didn't walk next to me or none of that or anything like that or you know don't don't go around telling your friends and this that and the other and clearly people know we're together we have pictures on social media and things like that and you're pretty much telling me like you didn't want me to tell anybody or anything like that come on clearly they're gonna see that I got a freaking big belly well, what are they gonna ask me who's your baby daddy and you're with this boy all the time like come on now 
Anyways, so an another form of abuse is emotional abuse. Emotional abuse is any kind of abuse that is emotional rather than physical in nature. It can include anything from verbal abuse and constant criticism to more subtle tactics such as intimidation, manipulation, and refusal to ever be pleased. Now, that for sure was the number one for me. Cause like I said, I was pregnant. I, okay, I've been knowing this person for some years, but I was pregnant for the majority of our relationship of when we were actually like together, one-on-one, -on -one, face to face all the time. And it for sure was always intimidation. I was pregnant, I couldn't run. I couldn't just up and leave as I wanted to. Two, manipulation. It wasn't so much as manipulation because I'm far from stupid. I just hated being lied to. And it was so like simple things. Like if I was craving something and I asked, hey, can you go to the store and go get me something? You know, of course we didn't have a car. We were like freaking 15, I mean 16, 17. So, oh, I'm gonna ride the bike and I'm gonna go get it. I'll be back. Five hours pass by and come to find out you're out with your friends, smoking and chilling and this and that. Like, like okay, well, you could have at least brought me back what I asked for, like I was craving. Like, me, I'm not clingy. I don't like to be smothered and I don't smother you. I do want some me time, you know, in a relationship, I feel like it's good for each person to have their own me time, their, their time. You don't have to be in each other's face all the time. And of course I moved out of my mom's house to go stay with you. I was living with you, your siblings and your mom. And I was surrounded by your family. I wasn't by my family. I didn't even have a phone at the time. So I couldn't even speak to my family on a daily basis. Like my sisters were young too. Like it's crazy to say my sisters are, well, my middle sister's four years after me and my other sister's five years after me. But those were like my best friends when I was pregnant. Like those were my only friends when I was pregnant. Like, I mean, you know, and I could barely talk to them. Why? Because I was with your family. I was in your family's house. I had no way to communicate with them. So, I mean, it was too many signs that I seen that I ignored that for some reason I, you know, and I don't, I'm not going to blame myself. I'm not going to put myself down any more than what I already was. Um, but I do take some responsibility because I, I seen too many signs that I ignored. Like, you know, you couldn't even do simple things. Like I had wick. Wick is for women, infant, and children when you're pregnant or when you have children. And you know, it gets it's not and they give you like milk, eggs, and um oatmeal and fruit and juice and stuff like that. And like literally there was a there was um a fiesta, like literally walking distance. You know, and you couldn't even go I would, hey, can you go, please go get me like an apple juice or or some fruit or something like craving. Like when I was pregnant, I was so sensitive to certain stuff. Like I couldn't smell, I couldn't stand the smell of raw meat. And like the only thing I could snack on um, because I was close to having early preeclampsia. And I'll get more into that like in different videos. But um, like I said, I did have a few complications towards the end of my pregnancy. But like, you know, you just couldn't even do that for me. Like. You would lie, you would sit outside all day, like, which I didn't mind, you weren't in my face. I had my privacy, well, I had my time to get my sleep, because that's all I really did was sleep. But it was just like, you know, one day my dad came and picked me up for the movies and like, I felt bad because when my dad picked me up, like, of course, none of my clothes could fit. My mom didn't want to get me maternity clothes because she was like, what's the point? You're only going to be pregnant for nine months and this, that, and the other. Like, guys, my pregnancy was so freaking, like, depressing for me. Um, it was just, it was just real hard. And like I said, I will do videos getting into that. But, um, it was just depressing for me. Like, I didn't have, I was wearing big freaking hoodies sweaters and sweatpants and yoga pants and like you know I didn't have any nice clothes I had to wear like just 
house stuff all the time. So when my dad took us, took you know, took me to the movies, I kind of felt embarrassed because he was like, let's stop by a store so I can get you something to wear. And I kind of felt like, like, okay, which, I mean, I know he was doing it because, I mean, no, I'm pretty sure he wasn't happy of who I got pregnant by and how young I was. But at the same time, it's just like, I, if you know my dad, then you know that man can step out. He dresses from head to toe. So he is the type of person where he's not going to be dressed up all nice. And we're with him looking like he done picked us up off the corner. No, sir. Carl Bernard does not. So we went to the store to buy me something to wear. And then um, we picked up my sisters and then we went to the movies. Like, you know, I and I had fun. Like, that changed my whole mood. Like, 